Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Kathy Mills from Contra Costa Animal Services. I'm the Chief of Shelter Medicine here. And I wanted to just talk to you about our current cat and kitten intake policy with COVID-19. Currently, we're only accepting sick and injured cats and kittens or ones that are in a dangerous location or otherwise at risk. We are not help taking in healthy cats and kittens at this time. I know it's not popular. It's hard for all of us. Trust me, it's very hard for me. Um, but right now, it is what we need to do to be able to help as many of these little ones as we can to keep them safe and to keep our staff safe. So most of you have probably heard about some domestic animals, including cats and dogs that have been found to test positive for COVID. And especially among cats, there is some concern that they might be able to transfer it to each other. So that's why we wanna, it's really important that we keep our shelter population very low right now for cats and kittens. It's gonna help us keep them safe. So what should you do if you find an adult cat or kittens? An adult cat, just leave it alone. Um, as long as it's not sick or injured, leave it where it is. For kittens, leave them where they are. If they appear healthy and happy, um, they should be left and keep an eye out for their mother. Most likely she's out looking for food for herself or for them um, if they're starting to be weaned, um, but she needs to eat. So she has to go looking for food. Um, if the kittens, if mom doesn't come back within a few hours, if the kittens are crying, if they're dirty, cold, um, sick with you or I, like this little one was, I know she doesn't look like it right now, but we'll look at her again in just a minute. Um, those ones, or obvious injuries, uh, fractures, wounds, those are the ones that we wanna be taking in, like we did for this little girl. So if they are sick, you can contact us at 925-608-8400. Um, otherwise, leave them where they are. They have the most success, especially ones that are unweaned, of surviving if they are with their mother. I do wanna point out, um, this is a great kittens that need our help. It's put out by Operation Catnip, and it really goes into some great detail on what kittens should the shelter should be taking, taking in and that you should contact us about. Um, so take a look at that. You can search back in our social media and find this. I know it's been posted there or you can just search for it online. This little kitten was one that came in yesterday. She's going out to foster today. She's been started on treatment for upper respiratory. You saw her sneeze right there. Um, her third eyelids are up a little bit. She's got a little bit of nasal discharge. As you can see, she's, she's already starting to recover. She's becoming more and more active. Super sweet, she'll do great in foster care. Um, get all well, and then we will be able to get her out and get her adopted or transferred to another facility for rescue. So thank you again for everything you're doing out there in the community to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Please know we are here helping these guys at the shelter every day. And we look forward to being able to see you all here again soon.